Toronto Raptors fans are feeling a bit salty after last night's 132-131 road loss to the LA Lakers, and they aren't the only ones. The Raptors head coach is likely facing a hefty fine from the NBA thanks to an angry rant he gave post-game questioning the officiating and its fairness. What happened tonight, this is completely BS, this is shame. Toronto Raptors head coach Darko Ryakovic was not happy following his team's loss to the LA Lakers last night. They had to win tonight? If that's, if that's the case, just let us know so we don't show up for the game. Just give them a win. Post game after the Raptors lost by just one point, Ryakovic was furious going on a tirade over what he called unfair officiating. I understand uh, respect for all stars and all of that, but we have star players on our team as well. How's possible is Scotty Barnes, who is all-star caliber player in this league. He goes every single time to the rim with force and trying to get, get uh, to, the, to the rim without flopping and, and not trying to get foul calls. He gets two uh, free throws for the whole game. He ripped into the game's free throw disparity after Anthony Davis scored 20 of his 41 points in the fourth quarter while going 11 for 11 at the line in the final period. Davis shot 14 of the Lakers' 36 free throws in the game while the entire Toronto roster shot only 13. What's happening over here during whole season, I've been calling it back, it's a complete crap. Ryakovich's rant likely will earn him a significant fine from the NBA, but his players appear to appreciate his comments. You know, we love Darko to death. Um, you know, we uh, we definitely thank the world of coaching, and we appreciate you know him you know going to bat for us. While the Lakers were singing a different tune. I feel like they fouled and we didn't. NBA insiders, however, seem to be siding with the raps. But when you hear those numbers. I can understand his gripe. When you hear those numbers, and, and, and you guys are breaking it down, of course, you know, with, with some of the intentionals and all of that, but they do sound extreme. They sound right. extreme and like, whoa, something had to go fishy here. Something had to get funny here. First of all, props to this guy, who I, I'm not familiar with the Raptors coach. I'm not familiar with him, but that was an epic rant. <laughs> and Colin, 23 free throw attempts to two? Like, uh, listen, if it were 28 to 8 or 23 to 8, something a little closer. 23 to 2. You, you do get the Raptors. Bad. It's certainly not the first time Toronto has felt like the refereeing has been skewed against them. I mean, I don't mind. I'll take a fine. I don't really care. I thought, you know, um, Ben Taylor was terrible tonight. In March of last year, former Toronto point guard Fred Van Vliet was fined $30,000 U.S. after he went off on the officiating of Ben Taylor after a loss against the L.A. Clippers. You know, most of the refs are trying hard. I like a lot of the refs are trying hard. They're pretty fair. They communicate well. And then you got the other ones who just want to be dicks and um, just kind of the game up. Nobody's coming to see that. Ben Taylor was on the court in last night's game and is once again drawing the ire of Raptors fans. Joining us now to break things down is Svi Katan, president at the Raptors Insider. Svi, was the refereeing really skewed in last night's game or was it just a tough loss? You know, that's, I think, what every fan is discussing after that one. And even people watching it that aren't Raptors fans or Lakers fans, just an NBA fan, um, everyone's going to tune in for LeBron and AT. I think the refing aside, it was a tough loss. Like, this team competed. We have new young guys on the team and RJ and quickly they battled. They were going shot for shot with some of the best players in the league. And it, regardless of the outcome, I think fans could walk away saying they competed and are happy with how they came to play On to the refing, you know, in the fourth quarter, we saw that 23 to two free throw skew. You know, if we want to minus some of the late game fouls where we have to, the rappers have to stop the game to slow down the pace. You know, there was a large discrepancy there and a lot of, you could say, questionable decision making by the refs. I think the NBA in the past historically hasn't done looking into refereeing or really being critical of how games are being played like you see in the NHL or NFL. But it was a tough one. And as a fan, biasly, it did feel one way. But, you know, there are a lot of times where, you know, you can't really make excuses for games. But this one hurt and it felt like there was an extra player on the court for the Lakers at times 
meaning the ref. So one of the refs on the court last night was Ben Taylor. His name's been trending in the top five all day today. Is the criticism he's receiving fair? Yeah, I, I you know, having my Raptors page, I see it all the time in the comments, in my messages. And I think a lot of fans are drawing back to what happened last season with Fred Van Vliet and Ben Taylor, where I believe Fred got a pretty hefty fine um, for his post-game remarks about how he felt towards Ben Taylor and how the game was officiated. And a lot of fans are, you know, drawing the conclusions that there's a vendetta against the Raptors or there's some ill feelings that, you know, needed to be expressed and tonight was the opportunity. You know, there were a lot of moments where we saw delayed whistles or very... Um, minimal contact things being called that had a lot of people up in the air, a lot of fans, you know, angry one, they stayed up late to watch the game being a West coast trip, but having the outcome that it was and, you know, Ben Taylor officiating the way he did just left a lot of fans feeling the way we know Darko felt post game, but even further beyond that last season, how Fred Van Vliet felt. You kind of mentioned it in your first answer, but despite the refing challenges, it was a solid showing for the Raptors in last night's game. Does this team have what it takes to make a playoffs push? Yeah, like this, this is an exciting team. I think a lot of fans after the trade have illustrated that it's very exciting time to watch the Raptors, especially with their new offensive pushes that they can offer and players that they can go into with RJ Barrett and quickly into the rotation and lineup to make a push into the playoffs in the East, I think is almost in the realm of possibility that we could make it to the play and push beyond looking at how the standings are, but it's going to take a lot of buying in and a lot of stepping up for players to find their new roles, find their comfort where they fit in best. But there's a lot of promising moments, especially in that Lakers loss where guys like RJ stepped up, Scotty Barnes showing what he can do come time when it's the fourth quarter, quickly making fun, exciting plays, Pascal hitting very key shots late game. And it's just something that is fun to see as a Raptors fan, but it's also exciting to see that this is what the Raptors can play to and the offensive scoring abilities that they have. Thank you so much for sharing some of your knowledge with us, B. Awesome. No, I'm very happy to be here and always happy to talk Raptors.